Hey, what's going on? For this video, I'm gonna crack into a mega box of 2022 Tops Gallery. 2022 Tops Gallery, I have found since I have started opening these. I don't know if maybe I'm going out on a limb here, but this potentially could be one one of my top favorite releases of 2022. I've had way too much fun opening these. I love the looks of the cards. The inserts are amazing. And I mean, the rookies, it's got all the rookies that you could want from this year are in here. And Bobby Witt Jr., Julio Rodriguez, Wanda Franco, Spencer Torkelson. I mean, they're all in here. CJ Abrams has rookie card in here. Hunter Green has a rookie card in here. There are just a lot and it's a fun product now i've opened probably more of this than i should but i've only i've only done mega boxes i have not opened a blaster box yet i've opened a few i wouldn't say a few couple uh mega boxes of the tops gallery so i wanted to have one to open for the channel so before we get into it i want to show you what i have pulled just some of the highlights. I pulled like all the rookies that you could possibly want to pull. I pulled them and uh, I just wanted to show you a couple of the highlights from the box. One of the inserts here, the Master Strokes inserts, Babe Ruth, and it is a green foil parallel. And it is numbered out of 89 out of uh, 250. So a Babe Ruth Master Strokes insert parallel number out of 250 next one here uh, Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card and it's one of the private issue parallels with the private issue stamp on it and it is numbered out of 250 so 248 out of 250 uh, right now the biggest I mean the biggest draw we got a J-Rod so I got the base and I also hit this uh, foil the rainbow foil J-Rod um, last time I checked on eBay, this is like a uh, around a forty-five dollar card. It's not numbered; it's just a base parallel. You get a, ha a handful of these in every box, and you know uh, you, the autos are going to be hit or miss. The best auto I pulled is a uh, Spencer Strider. So a Spencer Strider auto, they're sticker autos, but it is what it is. Not that big a deal. But a Spencer Strider auto. Uh, the other autos I pulled have all been. Rookie, rookie autos of, of, you know, nobody huge, nobody huge, but you never know. So let's get into this mega box. These mega boxes run at Walmart. They're only at Walmart. Tops had them on their website for a while. They have since sold out. I think there's, last time I looked, they had blaster boxes still available on the website, uh, but the megas have sold out so basically it's a it's a, a hobby version of it's a hobby retail if there is such a thing but you get 20 packs in the box five cards a pack two autographs odds you know you got your rainbow foils one and three so you know i average like you're gonna get like six or seven of those the private issues the numbered out of 250 ones you're gonna get probably about one of those per box there's all the rest of your odds. Hard to, you know, it's hard to hit anything, but, and it's hard to hit the autos that are, that are good. I've seen J-Rod autos come out of here too. So not a, you know, not a huge chance, but you do have the chance. So we got Daryl Strawberry back there. We got miserable Daryl Strawberry, completely miserable Daryl Strawberry up to ecstatic Daryl Strawberry. So let's hope we can get a box that Daryl Strawberry would be ecstatic over. I'm going to set the packs off to the side over here. I'm going to open the packs. I'm not going to have any trouble opening these packs. I'm not going to complain about not being able to open the packs either. We're just going to open the packs, look at the cards, and right off the bat, here we go. We got Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card. Your hit's going to be in the middle. Any parallels, any inserts, autographs, those, those are going to be your middle card. So, Looks like we just have a base Logan Webb. 
Now I have not seen, I know there are some art cards in here that are short prints, uh, that are like different, uh, I don't know how to say it. There's a Josiah Gray rookie card, but it's like a cartoony type of look to the, uh, to the image on the card, more like a sketch. But uh, we got a green, ooh, we got a green speckle coming up here of some sort. That could be, could be nice. We're gonna see what we got. But yeah, and also there are these interesting, they're like works, I think they're called works of art. Uh, but they're inserts like of the Mona Lisa, like the Last Supper maybe, Starry Night I think is one of them. Uh, but they're images of those paintings, so it's they're super short printed. But I have not seen one in my I haven't pulled one yet. But I have seen them people selling them on eBay for trying to sell them for ungodly amounts of money. So we'll put a Spencer Strider rookie there. We'll just keep the rookies there on their stand by themselves. There's Dansby. There's Altuve, and we got a green. I don't know if it may. I guess it could be autoed. If it is, then. Who we got here? That's Whit Merrifield. And it's not an auto, but it is a green shimmer. A green shimmer, Whit Merrifield. And it's numbered two out of 99. So not bad right there. I will definitely take that. That's actually the first color, other than that Babe Ruth insert that I just showed you at the beginning here. It's the only color that I have actually scene so that's a pretty nice looking card what merrifield having a resurgence with the blue jays started off pretty slow when he went to the the blue jays but another thing here it's kind of neat they have the retired players but you can see around the current player you see the border here is like a straight line it's smooth on the retired players and hall of famers it's more of a looks like it's like a torn paper it's got like a deco edge to it. So it's kind of interesting. Here we got Joey Bart. We got Tim Anderson. We got a rainbow foil here in the middle of Big Poppy, David Ortiz. So I'm not going to put him on the stand. But I am going to keep the foils and the inserts if they're not, if they're not, if I don't deem them worthy of being put up there. We'll keep them off to the side and check them out at the end. Another retired player, Hall of Famer, Tony Gwynn. Another, Cal Ripken Jr. It's a cool card. The design, it's simple. I don't know. I, I really like the design. Very easy to grade, I would say, with the on centering, with the border. You got the color up in the, the top corner there. The pictures on them are just beautiful. And they're easy to read names, backs of the cards. Pretty common, pretty basic, just a little blurb, career stats. I think on the, what is it, on the current players, I think it's got their year. Yeah, 2021, what they did each month, month by month. So, so far, a nice numbered out of 99, a couple of nice rookies. No autos yet. I think the autos are going to be, whenever you see the auto, it's going to be like a black, the, even the base autos, just like here on the Spencer Strider, that's what the base auto looks like. So you'll be able to see it in the pack when you fan them out. But it'll have some color to it, or it'll be it'll be black. So we got Andrew McCutcheon. We got Bo Jackson. That's an awesome card. Here we got a U Darvish foil. Trevor Story in his Red Sox uniform. And Ricky Henderson. The all-time stolen base leader, Ricky Henderson. We got an insert in here. Looks like it's one of the modern artist inserts. There's a nice Hall of Famer, Ozzy Smith. These can come autoed. We got Jose Ramirez there, modern artist. We got Jake Berger rookie card and a Joey Votto rookie card. These modern artist cards are they're they're nice. Really like these a lot. And the, those can come autoed, so something else to look out for. All right, looks like base pack here. We got Tyler Gilbert, Cedric Mullins, there's a Seth Beer rookie, Mookie, and Alex Kirloff. And 
We've got our first auto. Connor Wong. Some Mitch Hanniger. Ian Anderson. The Professor Greg Maddox. And our first autograph is... Let's see, can it be somebody big? It's a rookie. It looks like it's a landscape. I'm not sure who the rookie landscapes are, but... Minnesota Twins. I'm not sure who it... Giovanni Moran. Giovanni Moran. Rookie auto. It is, I would say that is a less, less than desirable name. But it is a rookie auto. Nonetheless, I'll take it. Nice looking card. Let's sit him over here. Giovanni Moran, rookie pitcher for the Minnesota Twins. All right. Got another foil in here. We got a Brian De La Cruz rookie. Got an Eloy Jimenez. Ty Cobb. Beaver and a rainbow foil of Hoy Park. Hoy Park foil. All right, this will take us to the halfway point. This is the 10th. Tenth pack. We got. Looks like a foil. Looks like it's like a landscape card. Marcus Simeon is a nice Jose Siri rookie. This foil of Jake McCarthy. Jake McCarthy foil rookie. I mean the pictures on here. They're they're nice pictures. Austin Meadows and Matt Veerling. Start the second half of the pack here. Really like the design of these again. It's, I mean, it's simple. Got another one insert coming up here. It's a cool insert, a next wave, I believe. There's Jake Myers, rookie. There's Aaron Judge. He's a, uh, I don't know, can he, is he gonna do it? As I'm recording this, he's at 61, so lots of walks on base percentages through the roof, but there's a rookie. It's a Joe Ryan next wave. These are another one of the inserts that are, they're, they're pretty cool. I like these. Awesome design, the gold foil, easy to read on the blue. Cool card. I'll sit them up there for now. Hopefully we get something to replace a couple of those that are up there. There's a Tatis. Another insert coming up here. It looks like a Master Strokes. There's Roy Campanella. There's a Reed Detmers rookie. There's Yachty. Haven't seen that one. Haven't gotten that one yet. And our insert here. No, it's... Ooh. Check that out. Bobby Witt Jr. Rookie insert. I believe... Out of my other box, I hit the Wander Franco of this. And that is, what is that called? It's PG, I think, is that a portrait gallery maybe? Not 100%, but I think it's a portrait gallery. But that's, uh, those are gorgeous inserts. A nice looking card. So we'll put that up there for now. I like that one. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. We've got a rainbow foil in here. There's Patrick Wisdom. There's the Babe. Rainbow foil of Honus Wagner. Honus Wagner rainbow foil. We've got a Javi Baez and Vidal Brujan. Two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. Seven packs to go. Still looking for an auto. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully we can get something a little bit better than uh, Giovanni Moran. There's Albert. In his Cardinals uniform, as he should be. There's Ichiro. A couple of guys that... Uh, just two of the best right there. Ooh, we got a Carlos Correa. Private issue. That's going to be numbered. George Springer and Jared Kelenic. So the uh, Carlos Correa is going to be numbered out of 250. <clears throat> Six 
261 out of 250. So we'll put him on a stand up here. And I don't know. I'm hoping to get a I'm gonna get a couple more rookies. Hopefully the auto, hopefully the, our autograph makes up for a lack of the rookie. There's a Hank Aaron. We got a foil in here of Starling Marte. We'll put him over here. Matt Olson and Bo Bichette. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We got a green foil coming up here. We got C.J. Abrams rookie card. So that's what's nice about this this set. You know, a lot of these guys people were wanting in. They were wanting them in series two. Didn't make it in. I think this this may be an autograph here. I don't know. Actually, it looks like we got. It looks like we got an. Huh. All right. Well, only got four left, so we're gonna save it. Looks like we got a green foil parallel of some sort in here and an autograph in the same pack. I'm not sure, but potentially. There's another one of the rookies there, Bryson Stott. That we're looking for. Very cool, Austin Riley. There's a Freddie Freeman. Some of these I have not seen yet. There's a Hall of Fame Robin Yao and a Byron Buxton. So I got three packs left, and we'll check out that last that last hot pack with looks looks like it's an auto. Looks like an auto and then a green parallel, but you never know. I could be could be completely wrong. All right, we got there. We go getting them now. They're showing up now. Seiya Suzuki. Rookie card, and followed by, I think I had the same thing happen in the last uh, box. I got to say a Suzuki, and then got something else coming up. I think that's weird to get two inserts in a pack, it looks like. But the modern artist, say a Suzuki, Nolan Arenado, Stan the Man. And what do we have? What is this? Oh, it's an, oh, we got two inserts in. One pack here. So we got a Seiya Suzuki Modern Artist, which is a very nice card. We got the Seiya Suzuki base, and we have a, a Shohei Otani. And that, ooh, well, that's why it was in there. It's numbered out of 99. Oh, it's a, I think it's a blue foil. That's why. Okay. All right. Those box starting to pick up. I was wondering, as I was going through this, since I'm putting in that new Daryl Strawberry uh, rating system back there, I don't know, it was kind of on the low end, but this could potentially, this might change things. So we have a blue foil portrait gallery Shohei numbered out of 99. So that's pretty awesome. So sorry, Carlos Correa, but... Even though you're numbered, you're coming off the stage and coming off the stand. And I'm going to put Shohei up there. So we got two packs left. And I don't know. A lot's going to depend on that last pack, I think. So we've got another foil in here. We got Charlie Blackman. We got a Josh Lowe rookie. We have a Tristan McKenzie foil. Roberto Clemente and Juan Yepes. Final pack. Final pack. We've got Julio Arias. There we go. We've got a Wander. We've got a Wander Franco. We have a Master Stroke of Hammer and Hank. Is that a no, it's not a blue. I was like, is that a blue parallel? It's not a parallel also. It would be the foil would be a different color. They're all the gold. But that's, nonetheless, that's a very nice looking card right there. I like that one. Got Alex Bregman and Ronzi Contreras. So that's going to take us to the last pack. Got an auto in here. Maybe the, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on here with 
But we only got four cards in here, I think. So we'll come off the back. We got the big hurt. That's a that is a cool looking card. That is a cool looking card. All right. We got Jack Flaherty. We got a green foil here. Let's see. It's a cardinal. It's Paul Goldschmidt green foil. That is very nice. I'm going to use Jack Flaherty to cover up the autograph and we'll take a closer look at Paul Goldschmidt here. Let's see if it's number to 99. Number to 125. So a numbered to 125. Paul Goldschmidt. I'll take that one. It's a beautiful card. Christmassy with the Cardinals red and the green border. I'll take it and get that down in there. There we go. I'll take that one. Very cool. Take Joe Ryan off. Put Goldschmidt up there. And let's see, can we get a big time autograph? Can we get a big time rookie? Here we go. It's a pirate. That's Hoy Park. So it's not a big time rookie. It is a Hoy Park rookie autograph. Not too bad. So two rookies. At least he's not a pitcher. We got one rookie pitcher auto, and the other one is at least we got a a position player. So we're not looking at anything. Not looking at anything numbered here, but nonetheless, let's see what we got here. Here's our two autos: the Hoy Park and the Giovanni Moran. We got one numbered. Whit Merrifield here out of 99, a uh, green shimmer. We got a Paul Goldschmidt green parallel numbered out of 125. And we had a Shohei Otani portrait gallery blue foil parallel numbered out of 99. We got the Bobby Witt portrait gallery rookie insert. We got the Carlos Correa numbered. We got a couple of nice... Inserts, so you got the Seiya Suzuki, the Hank Aaron, Jose Ramirez, you know, Joe Ryan rookie insert. There's all the rainbow foils, nothing too crazy in the rainbow foil. We did hit several of the nice rookies. We hit a Wander, a Suzuki, a Bryson Stott, CJ Abrams, Spencer Strider, and a Bobby Witt Jr. So there were our 20 packs, mega box of top gallery. So what does Daryl have to say? Was Is he completely miserable? No, that was not at all. I've had better. I may have had better, but I'm, no. Meh. I think it was better than a meh box. So it's down to these two. Am I ecstatic about this box, or am I? Or is uh, Daryl mildly impressed with this box? I'm going to go with mildly impressed. So I'm mildly impressed with this box. I was not disappointed at all. The Shohei Otani, I believe, overall for me, the Otani numbered out of 99, that saved it. If it wouldn't have been for that, I would have been meh, but that saved it for me. So, hope you guys enjoyed that look at the Topps Gallery Mega Box. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.